18 months ago, we were leading worship to like nobody in the room whatsoever. <laughs> I'll never forget pastor right when the pandemic kind of hit and shut the doors, him saying, we're just gonna keep showing up for people. Yeah. If there's one thing we know we can do as a ministry, we're just gonna show up. I remember being in that empty room doing rattle mm -hmm. with seven of us going, <laughs> I had no idea that 18 months later, what happened in a small, <laughs> empty room yeah. gets replicated in a way that's just like beyond anything that I could have thought of. It's like these songs blessed us in a time where even we were unsure about yeah. like what was yeah. next. So now like I thank God for that season because now we can really like help more people through. And I think that's why these nights have been so special. So we're here in yeah. Dallas, Fort yeah. Worth right now in an arena. Our first time back out in two years, and we're getting to sing so many, so many of these songs for the first time on the road from Graves into Gardens and from Old Church Basement Album. What's it been like for you guys? I can't get over watching people sing Wait On You in the room and singing The Blessing, just like the room lights up and people need these songs. But I think beyond anything that we're doing, it's like their faith is kind of rising yeah. and I don't know, I, that's special to me. Yeah. yeah, I feel too like how prophetic some of these songs have been, like going from Easter Sunday singing Rattle in an empty room and declaring things like, I'm gonna live again when everything feels like yeah. it's dying yeah. Yeah. to God really bringing us through to this type of moment where the room is full and the church is alive and we're, we're still declaring the same thing and seeing how far God has brought us all through has been absolutely incredible to see and just, it stirs my faith. I think it's such a sweet reminder too that the church hasn't stopped and the reach of our church, the reach of these songs is just mind blowing when you yeah. actually get to experience it and see it. And a song like, you know, Jaira that was, that started in the basement of this house we were writing in and then we recorded with just a, a few of us for Old Church Basement in an empty room and now to see just Mm. A few months after Gyra released, we're in a room, a room full of there's 9,000 people, 10,000 yeah. people here tonight. And this song has meant the world to them. It's still, it's still the most humbling thing in the world to think like a song went and it traveled in six months time wow. to minister to, to this many people that as soon as they hear, go no, 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 no. Like, it's just wild to me. Favorite part of these nights feels like home. It's like church fam, yeah. extended fam. Yeah. That's my favorite it's really part. Good. It's just, it's such a home vibe. So we're just gonna keep showing up and we're gonna keep doing our best to serve our people and to steward what God's given us. And yeah. that's our mission. That's the, that's our calling. That's our For calling sure. as a church. And uh, we're blessed to do it. We're privileged to do it. I can't believe we're doing it yeah. like this. It's nuts, but I mean, the best is ahead. <laughs>